Welcome back everybody. Baldur Gates 3 just came out, and with everybody claiming that this is a new standard to the RPG genre, I figured I should check it out for myself. I want to also document my experience for you guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Warning, there will be a lot of spoilers during this series.
still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. After exploring this room vigorously and found a couple chests, I've decided that's been enough and started to move on to the next room. and histories flash into your mind. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. in expectation. Please, before they return! They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull.
brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. What do you suggest? First, we exterminate the Ennis. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane.
victory awaits. After looting for a while, I finally listened to my companion and went to the helm. These things, they're magically linked to the console. I'll see what I can do. Hurry! Please! The console appears dormant. The console hums to life.
fever runs across your mind. You feel sated. Got a problem with Gith Yankee? More that Gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Alright then, let's get going. I'm Mr. Perp. Shadowheart. One moment. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Let's see. Perfect. I didn't know what that meant, so I asked my companions. Not now. We must go to the helm. Who are you, and why are you helping me? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Now move. You are wasting time. Hard not to ask questions. Why the helm? <sighs> Control over the ship. Or do you wish to die here? Something the matter. Besides the obvious, that is. Shadow Heart. Unusual name. Pondering my name won't get us off this ship. Let's stow the small talk until we're safe, shall we? Any suggestions on how to proceed? Well, jumping overboard is hardly an option. So that leaves us with taking control of this ship. Provided we can figure out how to do that, of course. I'm right behind you.
they couldn't give me any information about the console, so I decided to leave it alone.
all by my hand. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through, but it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Thanks everybody for watching. This was part one of Perp Plays Baldur's Gate 3. Leave a like and subscribe. Next part is going to be completed shortly. See you guys later.